Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn where all of our explosives are placed and ready to go kaboom for our expansion. Uh, so let's do this, shall we? Let's go down to um, that. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to pause the game for a moment and I need to remove paths to prevent beavers from getting to certain places. So let's remove... Basically, we want to remove this path along here. And this path along here. And this one along here. Which does mean um, it might actually... Uh, this one along here. Like that. And this road is one out from this road from the center line this is one shorter than that interesting oh well doesn't matter doesn't matter but we want to do that um uh and let's go back to the top so oh yeah i didn't put a um path back in there we can also remove the path there and there as well as that one and that one because we'll probably run a path straight down again to there and to there so the beavers can get around mind you they could walk around the outside so yeah let's uh, speed up time and get everyone basically out of there that should be fine um, the houses are still connected which is good Okay. Right, this is good. Oh, got one, one more, so I can just see the path. There. So, okay. So now let's slow down time and let's detonate these carefully and precisely, because we don't want any beavers hurt in this explosion. So, everyone clear a path. We should probably do this at night when it's safer, but we're gonna do it now. And we are going to hope that beavers stay away from the explosives. Don't step into the light. Don't go into the light, beavers. You don't want to. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Now, I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I want to have the power run up and do the bits and pieces for the, the thing of bobs, but... Um, yeah. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that that there let's detonate this one as well and go this way and do it very slowly not that it matters if we did it at speed it wouldn't matter Beaver, beavers will be there or they won't be there who knows who knows but um uh, in fact let's speed it up to times two speed at least so uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in uh, that one there and that one there okay Let's detonate this one. I just want to re-establish the roads. Because right now they're going to go up, along and down again to get to where they want to get to. So. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, okay, so road, 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 road. We should also redo those. There's a bit of importance because we actually do have a use for those bit of roads there. Just remembered. Okay, like that. So why did they not come and build this? What are they what else are they building? What else could you possibly be building? Oh, this over here, probably. Yep, so let's lower this to be the last priority. Um, it was also mentioned in the comments of the last episode, thank you very, very much for all the comments, um, that I could have put these barriers up here. Okay, along here. Although we couldn't have put them here, but then this should block it anyway. So, but we could have done the barriers along here, um, and uh, yeah, that would have worked as well, but... Uh, 
Bah, we did it down there now. We did it down there, so that's fine. We made that low priority though, because that's not terribly important. Um, this this kind of is, so. Right, okay. And then what we'll do is run on the power lines through here. Power lines through here. I don't know where I want to go with them. I'm not sure. One of these power lines will have to be a connection left or right. Um, let's do two of the four corners of it. That seems like a good way to cover all our bases, shall we? Uh, I'm going to put crosses in here as well. Uh, could we? I don't think we'll ever go forward, but. Well, I'd rather do that. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Right, very clearly. Press shift and, and uh, sh shift and scroll wheel moves along here. So um, I think I've fallen prey to that a few times. Let's do this and that. Then do this here. And then we need to put some dynamite here, 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 and here for where the power comes up. Oh, thought I missed it. Uh, do 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 do. Like that, there we go. Okay, and then we can get that established there. And we put the roads back in again, and uh, everything can be re established all the way along. Super low camera rate because it really hates the uh, the pathing system in this game. Uh, it's not the pathing system; it's the uh, that uh, that distance thing. It recalculates it every time you move a thing, so it's um yeah, it's a bit a uh, bit much. So, uh, but anyway, um, there's that done there. Let's take out this as well, shall we? It can be safe around these two. This one is a bit more um than now. It would be okay because um, beavers that don't have any jobs can come and hang out either around the houses or around the town center, so they might hang out around there. So, and this is where we're going to put our uh, uh, mud bluffs here, yeah. The mud bluffs, okay, right. So, um, build, 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 build. We have plenty of planks, yes, we do, and we have plenty of logs, yes, we do. So, uh, yeah, we just got to. Wait for it to build. We got loads of builders. Not a problem. It should be good. We should be good. What are you doing? You are. Oh, you got a one round. Got a long way to go to get home. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, follow you, Jim Jimzula. Hey, okay, it looks like they've gone home, which means. Everything is built. Well, home. They're going to their place of work, I should say. Everything is built, which is awesome. Everything's back to running again. Fantastic. Okay. So. Food. What food do we want to do? That's ready to launch. That's ready to launch. We'll, 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 we'll do that at the end of this episode, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, food. How do we do food? Right, let's uh, first uh, pop, pop, pop. Pop. Pop all these up here. Um, just so we can establish some form of power coming through. And I suppose we want to put in the power. You, 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 doop, doop. There we go. So we have power coming up. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. Food. What food do we do? So, first and foremost, let's start where we actually are. So, Kohlrabi does not need anything to be processed. That's fine. Um, cassava, however, does. Cassava requires a lot. We don't actually have any cassava. 
um, which concerns me a lot, like a real lot. Did something happen? Tula Cassava? Um, because what's my foot? Whoa, 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 pause, pause for a moment here. Right, hold on, let's go to this here. Has our food just been generally dropping for ages and ages and ages? And I haven't noticed. Because, because that, that means that we've, I mean, we've got over here, um, uh, two, three, four, I've got six doing cassava over here. So I kind of want six doing them here as well. Yeah, yeah, let's do, let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's move it into over here. So fermenters, so cassava fermenters are going to live here, aren't they? So, uh, let's do... Oh, I'd love to be able to put them behind the houses to have the roads coming between them as well. There's no way we can do that, though. Uh, it would require digging up loads of stuff and blowing up stuff underground and doing all sorts of things with power grid and stuff. And, and uh, yeah. I mean, we technically could. There are technical ways to do it, but like one there, one there, one there. Um, and have the roads coming between, but... I don't think we're going to do that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three. And uh, then do this. And I have an alleyway, which is doing all of the fermented cassava. So you're all going to do fermented cassava. Okay. Put them there. Cool. So that's Casper's done. So what's over here? Berries. Berries is good. Soya bean. What does soya bean become? What does soya bean become? Soya bean. Is that a fermenter as well? Um. Yep. You ferment soya beans. So let's do soya beans as well. And we'll do that here. And we'll do another row of fermenters here. Like this. Two, three, um, four, five, six, seven. I should come off this end. I know. But um. We can't because of the way the power grid works. I could blow up more. And I, there's so many things I could do, but we're going with this one. We're going with this one. So, soybeans, soybeans, soy, soybeans, thank you. soybeans, soybeans, and soybeans. Okay. Uh, the mushrooms are all going to be made here. So, I'm going to do mu mushrooms and algae over here. Um, so we might still have some fermenters over here for that. If not, we could always come here and build them, which would probably make sense to actually put the, um, yeah, let's actually, let's just move them. Let's just move them. One, two, three, boom. And this can be for mushrooms. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Like that, yeah. Well, mushrooms, cool. Okay, so you do mushrooms there. We want some storages and stuff for things as well in here. So we've got soybeans, we've got fermented soybeans. Mind you, the um, uh, the bots can shift things, so that's not a problem there. Uh, you require canola, don't you? Uh, fermenter. Yes, yeah, soybeans requires canola, and um, canola is made from canola, which is here. So that's going to be over here. So let's do... You don't normally need a lot of presses, um, but I'm going to do... Uh, you know what? We're going to put them in the actual path here. Uh, one, two... Three... Three... 
we do four and then I can put a boom and then make you canola oil Oof, there you go so you'll take all the canola you'll compress it into the oil and if we need more we can build more behind it and do things around it so so yeah um okay uh right uh oil press makes canola that's fine the hydroponic gardens make uh that so we need to open the food factory because the food factory is what uses other bits and pieces and we're going to need multiple food factories i think at least three so we have coffee beans to make um which are made in is that the food factory makes the coffee beans no it's the coffee brewer makes the coffee beans so let's let's unlock the coffee brewer and let's put you in here i don't know how many of these we're going to need so uh let's go with four two three four to be the one behind it and we don't need to put coffee there because coffee is going to be stored in this tank uh there's gonna be a tank here as well oops i haven't done the tank here no not there not there there thank you uh coffee 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 coffee, coffee, coffee. no that's oil oil it's coffee for robots uh we've got to make oil as well but um it's made in all right so this is making so this should be making grease um but it's got no canola oil so we might need a little bit more canola oil being made somewhere but yeah right, so coffee there run the path along there you go. Boom. uh eggplant eggplant is made in the uh food factory along with corn hmm. so the food factory we're going to have to have a few of these and i really would like to do these i don't know if you can do power on the top segment of these let's test if you can do power coming out the top of these guys uh, so if we put that there so if you do it here and you press it, you see the little blue icon yes you can awesome 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 so what i can do with the food factories is we can just dump a load in um here so we can go uh one two three uh four five six like that put in over the top walkways put in the power connections and they get power from both and if we need to put more in here we can do that and that's fine uh you are going to do um so corn is made down down in the corner down here this is corn yeah, this is corn. But let's do corn over there. So corn and corn. We might need more than two. We might need three of each. Um, eggplant and eggplant. And algae is actually being done over here. So algae should really be done on the other side. So these two will become iron teeth bentos. Let's try that. Let's try that. And then over here, we'll establish... Do you know what? Actually, uh, let's go back here for a moment, and let's put three of each building in. Oh, to move the tooltip to the soil here. That that's taking up half my screen space. Devs, that's taking up half my screen space. I know, I know, it's got this extra recipe here, and it wouldn't be if it wasn't the default. But seriously, this should be over here. It should be over here in the corner of the screen. It doesn't need to be in the center. And that's in the center. That makes sense because that's the recipe. In the, but the tooltip for the building. Slap it over there in the corner, please. 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 <laughs> Boom. Uh, now, we don't need to do this because um, this one will get power from the one behind it, but I'm going to do it because it looks better. So. Boom. There you go. Uh, and then corn, corn, and corn. Eggplant, eggplant, and eggplant. And bento, bentos, and bentos. There you go. We have no storage for bentos yet. I haven't figured that out at the moment. Uh, but over here, we're going to put in three. And the reason I went three is because we can do three here as well. Um, going food factory, food factory, food factory. Uh, power. And you can do algae. Algae and algae. Okay, so put on. And then we might as well run paths in between as well, just because we can. Same band here. Half down, half down long there we go awesome okay and i think that'll do 
I think that'll do. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's um, speed up time again. Okay, they've once again returned to the district centre. So therefore, orders are. It is time to have a look and see what's going on here. Okay. So stuff is a running. Stuff is a going. Stuff is a doing. It's going to take a while for everything to sort of balance out. But um, stuff is definitely a doing. So let's also get rid of all this here because we don't want any of this here. <clears throat> I might redo this entire mushroom farm area because we can fit two lots in here. So let's get rid of all of these guys. Yep, be gone. Poof. Okay, and then I probably that. Grab all those. Um, I might want to get rid of all of this, like all of this, and move it down here. Um, slow down, slow down. Pause, pause, pause. Game is becoming a bit laggy when I'm trying to build things whilst it's going. So, so what I'm thinking is that maybe we could do one, two. Now, if it didn't that way, it wouldn't work because we couldn't put the ladders in. them this way and then that wouldn't work because ladder and center <coughs> then I suppose what we could do is take those two out and put them in facing alternate directions uh, so if we went with the hydroponic farm if I could find it my brain is not working it so if we put it there Yeah, put it there. Then there, just just to be, yeah, with it. So we'd go. Up until we can't go up anymore. And same for that one. Up until we can't go up anymore. You're this way. You are that way. Oh, there. Okay. And then the ladders can come in here. And this one can be laddered off at the end like this. Uh, this one can be laddered off at the end. We just don't have a road come in from that direction. This one can be laddered this way. And this one can be laddered this way. Although they could be laddered that way as well. So... Um, do we want a path coming in from that direction? A truck could figure out a way to do that. If I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hold on. Delete all that. Be gone. Be gone. Let's do it this way instead. Let's do a hydroponic garden uh, facing that way. This way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, up there. That way. Yeah, it's fun little buildings. Fun little buildings. Um, and then we can put the ladders in up against the back of the other buildings. Which would allow a path to connect between all of these. As well as on the end here. And if we come down. Here and here. And that will connect to every last one of them. Blah, 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 job done. Okay. Then I just need to figure out who's doing what, when, where and how. Um, so. Uh, mushroom stack. 
three mushroom stacks to three algae stacks. Does that seem that seem fair? So let's start here and go mushroom, mushroom. Oh, to buy copy paste. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Do you know what? Come down. Mushroom, algae. Mushroom, algae, mushroom, algae. And then go up. Boom. Mushroom, algae, <laughs> mushroom, algae. You get the idea, right? And there we go. So we have mushroom tower and algae tower. Mushroom, algae, mushroom, algae. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that'll do there. I might leave those ones there because we can. doesn't really affect it we could actually move these uh ladders to be on the backs of these now because none of them are facing this way so we could actually move the ladders out and, and that would be fine but i might just leave them there for the minute um we've got waters nearby as well yep okay cool more for the builders to build that's fine dum, 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 dum. we're gonna get food in hopefully with the more food in so here like we've got different types of food with every different type of food it means you use less of original food so even though we had everyone grow them, we really only had kohlrabi and cassava that they could eat. There was nothing else for them to eat. Fermented mushrooms kind of were coming in as well, so a little bit, but um, and a little bit of mangroves as well. This is underpowered. But if we add all the other foods into it, when they go to get food, instead of them going, oh, well, I'm going to have kohlrabi, I'm going to have cassava, I'm going to have kohlrabi, I'm going to have cassava, they will then go, I'll have one of these, I'll have one of these. And if they eat one of these, they're not eating one of those, which means there's more of those to go around. And then so, so so with a bigger selection you actually lose use less of one type of food it's obvious it, it's 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 really obvious I'm, I'm preaching to the choir i know but um just because the casa field isn't big enough to feed the population right now doesn't mean it isn't big enough to feed the population with all the other crops in in tow with it so yeah and like the mangroves the mangroves may not be enough to feed the population although this is slowly building um it may just be that uh, they are not... Does that actually reach the corner? It does. I was worried it had one, one strip. It wasn't picking. Um, but um, it, it may be that there is enough to feed our thousand beavers we're going to get to eventually um, with the others. Like, it does. this doesn't need to feed the thousand beavers. It only needs to feed um, a thousand beavers... Instead of a thousand beavers every day, it needs to feed a thousand beavers once every... every X amount of days depending on how many different food types there are. So, you know, every time you add a food type, you divide the amount needed of that food type by the amount. So, you know, if you needed a thousand cassava uh, or a thousand kohlrabi, um, and then you added cassava to it, you only need 500 kohlrabi or 500 cassava. So, um, it, I'm, it, it sound, it's, I'm, I'm saying it, and I say it every time, and I kind of feel like I'm, I'm explaining stuff that is just obvious, but to some people it may be not it may be like oh i need to expand the mangrove field because it's not doing enough i'm not getting any spare mangrove in it's not enough or like the cassava we don't have any cassava that means i need to expand this and make it bigger no add the other food types when you get all the food types in if you're running out of food if this overall number at the top here is going down that's a problem so long as this number here is going up or stays above a certain level you're fine you're fine even if the babies have to eat berries they're still alive don't worry about it we have four unconnected buildings. Um, yeah, that makes sense because uh, there's no stairs. The stairs we put in are lost, so. Um, I could also put more water towers on top of here. So there's even less distance for them to travel. Hmm. Ooh, oh, safe. Yay. Um, right, so the coffee is going. Uh, we definitely have enough workers to do everything, so that's not a problem here. Uh, you want coffee, water, and that to make four. You don't have the water. Oh, however, this is filling with coffee, so yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we have to expand the water. I put four water towers in the corners as well to keep uh, so the beavers have access to more water in more places. Um, you might need to uh, establish a better pumping system going on here. Um, this is an overhang. Oh yes, oh yes, because we actually did something different here, didn't we? Yeah. 
I was just running it down the sides, weren't I? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that again. Let's, um, what is it? A triple, double, triple? Double, triple. Let's extend this by 10 here. Ooh, on either side. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't think that one through. Didn't think that one through. Hold on. Uh, I believe you. No, your depth is six. Hold on. What have I? What? Wait, 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 wait. What have I done here? I just left that one blank, did I? Yeah, because this second one doesn't actually need. I think. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's go and build this here. So. Um, 10 and 10, but we actually don't need this one and this one. Oh, sorry, you built that. Sorry. Sorry. So let's put... Oh, that's it. Let's put... Um, in there. Probably don't need that one either. 10 and 10. 10 and 10, like that. Okay. Do, do, do. And then we want to have so each of these will have crossing platforms, which are going to be three wide ones. Yep. So ten there and that there, there and that there. However, we need to get rid of some of these center ones here because we don't need them. So one, two, three, four, two, three, and four. Then we'll do another one here, which means we need to get rid of this one. And of course, it's the one that they uh, want they built. Okay, uh, deep water pump. Deep water pump. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Damn, beavers far too eager building the things before I'm ready for it. Well, I should pause the game when I'm building things. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's just establish a little bit more water coming in. Because now we're going to start using way more water as well. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Our happiness will go up. As our happiness goes up, beavers live longer. Because they live longer, our population will increase. So, that's a good thing as well. Uh, so, yeah. Overall, I think we're going to do pretty well. We currently have... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40 of them. To get a 1,000 beavers, I need 50, so I need to put some more in. Um, but uh, I think this would be fine for the moment. I think this would be absolutely fine for the moment. So, yeah. Um, you're not getting any cassava in at the moment. You're not getting any fermented mushrooms at the moment. Um, that's okay. The cassava crop will come in. I don't know whether something happened to these, whether they... died off or or what i don't know um i know cassava takes a long time to grow in relative um it's, it's five five days for one crop it's quite a bad crop cassava but um we'll see how it goes so it goes you are all running you're doing algae you're in power saving mode because you can't get any canola oil all right let's fix that let's add some more canola oil in here it might be that we don't even need to add more it's just that everything's catching up but yeah let's put more in Boom. there you go more canola presses awesome so i think we'll leave this one here i will leave the game running and we will um see whether our food stabilizes it is going up which is nice but see if we can get all the food types coming in i think everything is in place to make it we just need a bit more canola oil um it's just going to take some time to start buffering things start filling things up as buffering the mangrove fruits are actually filling but that might just be because we've had a, a crop come in and now we've got to wait another 10 days for the next crop to come in so but um overall this will eventually fill and and stuff will start buffering up as they get more and more uh stuff coming in which would be quite nice. Uh, Jimjula obviously has, um, not Jem. Jizzy Mal, I, I don't know, because I've said Jemzula the first time around, my brain is now fixated on that name. So, yeah. So, um, do you know what? Jemzula, well done, your name is Jemzula. Uh, um, and now I'm not incorrect, haha. -ha. Uh, you have 
uh one two three four five so you haven't got corn rations eggplant algae or coffee yet coffee is available don't know why you're not drinking the coffee coffee is available um mainly probably because you're not actually um uh, hungry they're, they're, their hunger actually does have to drop maybe coffee's under thirst i'm sure but it has to drop down for them to want to eat something so they won't just go nom 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 this will drop down and then they'll go oh what can i get they'll skip these ones and try and find the next one here so, so next time he eats, Zemzula will find corn rations. And then the time off that, it'll be eggplant. And the time off that, it'll be algae rations. And then it'll go back to whatever one's the lowest number. So I, I think that's how it works. They always pick the last one. They go, what's available? So can I get this? I'll get that. Can I get this? I'll get that. Can, no, then I'll go back up and we'll, yeah. I think that's how it works. So yeah. Yeah. So let's leave this here and come back next time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.